Okay, back at it. Nothing interruptions. I had to cheat and go get some instructions, so now I have a parts list so I can see how it's assembled. And I got a bunch of directions I probably won't read. But I left out a thrust washer, which I thought I probably did. But not the one I thought I did. So it takes this big one right here. This goes right up inside the case here against the big bearing. And that's what sets the end plate for the counter shaft on this side. That's the part I left out. But that's not the part I thought I left out. So even I had to break down and go look at a book. Slightly. Okay, so now we do this whole thing over again. So we slip our counter shaft back in there, this time with a thrust washer where it belongs. Yeah. I already have the counter shaft on this side, the spacer, washer, whatever you want to call it, which was already in there before. Okay, so now we take our bearing and do the same trick on lifting it up. So that takes that plate again that I had before. And we make the gear down there, it engages our gear. Use my same precision tool as I used before. So if that's not the one, there's the one we're looking for. Perfect. All right, let me tap it down and get it started. Self-center a little bit. Make sure everything is free over here. Pull out my shim piece. Everything appears to be okay. Make sure shim washer down here, thrust washer is in the right spot. Which it is not. Over here, we can get to it. Sure. Put it up where it belongs here. There we go. It's got to go down inside the groove. Gravity will hold it in there for us. And now, go ahead and beat the bearing down the rest of the way. Do a little bit at a time, obviously. Still good. Okay, no in play again. Get those out of the way. So we still have no hard stop for setting our inflow. So when it bottoms out, you've gone too far. <coughs> so just like before, we'll go ahead and knock it back a little bit. Punch right there. Here the employ there. Give yourself about 10, 15 thou employ. It's probably about 10. I don't think they tell you how much you're supposed to have. Yeah well. There's some in there, that's what I like. 
All right. Now that washer I thought went here does go here. Just put that on next. Okay, before I put the high gear, fifth gear in this thing here, I gotta get the shifter shaft in here. So that's the next piece to do. All right, where is my shifter shaft? I don't tell you which end goes which way, but I haven't turned it around since I got it, so it should be good. Okay, you got your spring and stuff in here. You gotta engage it down in here where it belongs. I'm gonna put the fork down there where it belongs. A little bit of oil on here just for the hell of it. Looks like we need to put the shift fork onto our shaft before we engage it. Okay. Comes in from this side here. Doing something wrong. All right. Well, something ain't right because I'm spending way too much time trying to figure this out. It wasn't that hard to get it apart. So that means I'm doing something wrong again. Shift the shaft don't work right. I think I'm doing something wrong. And it's backwards? I don't know. I could read the directions. That would be no fun. I know. That's why you're here. I can figure it out. You can figure it out. Somehow this doesn't have room to go in here. So, this camera sucks up here too. Okay. You can't see what I'm doing. So right now we're trying to figure out how to get the shifter shaft in here. The spring hooks over here on this tab right here. The shift fork goes over here. And the shaft goes in between the two. And I don't remember taking the spring off the shift fork to get it out. So I'm doing something wrong. So let me look at the directions over here and see what's going on. We'll be back.